going on y'all this is my setup for 2022 at least the beginning of it right now i'm in the process of moving so i just want to show you guys what the setup looked like for the last three years and how i've been streaming editing and gaming and homework actually man everything's still shut down over here as far as school so we're still at home so this is where i spend the majority of my time now over here we have the bookcase where i keep a bunch of my trophies medals from powerlifting i'm a few funko pops just for decorations all of my challenge coins as well as my promotion warrants from the marine corps after that we have some games ps4 as well as switch with the playstation light illuminating everything in the middle a couple of gamecube controllers that i used to play smash with and at the bottom we just have some books slash dvds now i know most of you are familiar with this but this is the stream deck i actually use this a lot for streaming different scenes are being changed on this bad boy as well as just productivity as you see on the second page i just have quick links a couple of volume controls and there's still enough room for so much more in the future also speaking of streaming the way i'm controlling the audio on stream is this this is called a pc panel it actually allows you to assign different applications to each of the knobs that you're seeing on screen right now so i have my first knob set to spotify second knob is set to chrome third knob is for any assigned task that i want and then the fourth one's just master volume here we have the mofi wireless charging stand i just use this on my desk to check notifications and keep my phone charged at the same time so it's perfect for that for my speakers i'm using the clips pro media 2.1 thx computer speakers they actually have a subwoofer as well and they sound great powering the stream lighting is this bauer ring light that i got from micro center it's a 12 inch ring light attached to a elgato master mount i actually had to buy it separate no big deal, but it clamps right to the desk and it's very sturdy, doesn't move anywhere while I'm streaming. Attached to the monitor mount itself is this other mount from Elgato. It's called the Solid Arm and it actually holds a Elgato face cam. As you see, it's actually attached to an Alonzi quick release. So that way when I am wanting to switch cameras, so I have a ZV-1 as well, I can do that on the fly without actually having to take away the brackets or anything from the face cam. So switching cameras on stream is seamless at this point. The mic that I'm using is the Elgato Wave 3. It's attached to a just super generic boom arm. I don't even know what this thing is called, to be honest, but you can find it on Amazon anywhere. Um, it actually tucks in the corner. I put it on the side. So that way, when I want to use it on stream, I, I have full access to it. I can arrange it any way I need to by pivoting. And then I just tuck it right away once I'm done. Here we have my keyboard. This is a Razer Black Widow Chroma that I got back in 2014 and I'm still using it to this day. Looks beautiful, it feels very good. And I'm also using HyperX putting keycaps along with the Crystal Crown keycaps and it just looks amazing. Look at the RGB on it. And this is how it sounds. This is the Glorious Model O Wireless. I believe it came out last year. I got it to replace a Amazon mouse that I had previously. And this is my first real gaming mouse, I, I would say. Fits my hand perfectly. The side buttons feel amazing. And yeah, this was overall just one of the best pickups I've had so far for the setup. As you guys can tell, I'm using a dual monitor setup. The left monitor is actually used for internet browsing, pulling up the stream chat and Streamlabs OBS. The right one is for the actual gaming and productivity itself. Now the left one is an Acer K27 2HL 27 inch monitor, while the right one is also a 27 inch monitor from MSI, it's a G271. I haven't been using portrait landscape orientation for a very long time, but I'm telling you guys it's a game changer for sure. As far as editing go, I just do that on the right screen just like I mentioned earlier. And then once I want to pull up something, I can just easily do that on the right and get some work done while I have everything going on the right side. It's also perfect for gaming and pulling up other video content on the left as well, just like any other orientation. But the main reason I've done this is for the camera straight down the middle. Over here, we have the gym. Now, I, my, I know most of you already seen this on stream, but this is what it looks like at night with the RGB on, all the lights on. 
make sure y'all follow the live stream i i am breaking this down now but hey it's gonna come back even stronger in the next couple of months so be ready let's talk about the beast running the whole entire rig which is this custom built pc that i got all the parts for last year finally got my first build done and it's running everything i needed to do as far as streaming and gaming I'm using the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 as the GPU. The motherboard is an MSI Z490 MPG Gaming Plus. The CPU that I'm using is an Intel Core i5, the newest generation, as well as everything being encased within a Lian Lee Lancool 2 mesh. And it looks amazing. Guys, I, I <laughs> this is my first build, I'm so proud. I could do a little bit better on the cable management, obviously, but for my first build, I'm, I'm very proud. The cable management is done all under the desk. It actually has a few spots that I'm using um, along with other trays that I've used in the past, just keeping everything nice and tucked in. So as you see on the ground, no cables at all. And that is the whole tour guys. There's nothing else to really see. Um, I'm glad you guys got to see it before I tore everything down. So this is amazing to actually get this video out there. I hope you guys really enjoyed it and definitely come back because I plan on rebuilding everything in the new room a dedicated streaming room once we get into this new house so i appreciate you guys make sure you like comment share subscribe if you have any questions i will make sure to answer them and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day have a great one see y'all at the new place